Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about the unknown multiplier as it relates to doing certain kinds of ratio problems. Let's look at an example to learn how this concept works. Say you knew that the ratio of apples to oranges was 3 to 2. Apples to oranges. Maybe that's uh, in a fruit basket. And let's say you knew that you needed 50 of these fruit baskets. How many apples and oranges are you going to have? Notice we're given a part-to-part -part ratio, right? This ratio is part-to-part -part because it's apples and oranges are part of the total fruit basket. So we're given a part-to-part -part ratio, but not any actual numbers of apples and oranges. And then we're given a total, an actual total, but not a ratio total. So let's make a table out of these numbers, and this will help us solve the problem. Across the top, I'm going to put the parts And then I'm going to put the total at the end. Those are going to be the columns. The first row is going to be the ratio. And then the final row is going to be actual. So we know that we have a ratio of three apples to two oranges. And we know the actual total is 50 fruit baskets. So here's the thing. To get the ratio total, it's quite simple. All we have to do is add up the two, these two ratios, the part ratios. 3 plus 2 is 5. Now here's where the unknown multiplier comes in. The unknown multiplier multiplies every ratio to get the actual, and it has to be the same. In other words, we could think of it as being scaled up. What did I have to multiply the five by times what to get 50? What did I have to multiply the ratio by to get the actual? Well, the answer is 10. 10 is the unknown multiplier, but we just found it out. Now that has to be the multiplier for all of these. So 2 gets multiplied by 10, we must have had 20 oranges, and 3 gets multiplied by 10, giving us 30 apples. So we have the actual numbers of apples and oranges. So this table is very helpful. Do a, a column for the parts and the total, and then do a row for the ratio and the actual, and use a common or same multiplier to scale up all the ratios. All right, let's look at another example. Let's say in a particular store there were five casual shirts for every two formal shirts. So that's a ratio of five to two. And there were 56 total shirts of both kinds. So this is the same situation we had before where we knew a part-to-part -part ratio, part-to-part, -part, but we don't know the actual numbers of the parts. And then we know the total actual number, in this case, 56. Let's do the same approach. Across the top, we're going to say casual shirts formal shirts and total shirts and then our rows are going to be the ratios and then the actual. So the ratio of casual shirts to formal shirts is 5 to 2. Now remember we're allowed to add those up to get the total ratio, 
so 5 plus 2 is 7. So the part-to-whole ratio of casual shirts to total shirts would be 5 to 7, and the part-to-whole for formal would be 2 to 7. All right, now the actuals, we only know the total, which is 56. Okay, and then we try to get the unknown multiplier. We can see it's going to be 8. This is being multiplied by 8. That means everything is multiplied by 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 5 times 8 is 40. So we must have had 40 casual shirts and 16 formal shirts. Now, this multiplier doesn't always have to be an integer. It could be any number like 1.2 or 3 sevenths. Let's look at an example where that would be the case. Let's say a recipe called for three parts lemon juice, for every seven parts water, to make lemonade. And let's say a restaurant was making a big batch of lemonade, they were making 45 liters. Okay. Let's do it the same way. We have lemon juice, water, and total. We have a ratio row and an actual row. We know the ratio of lemon juice to water is 3 to 7. We can add those up to get the total 10. So that's the whole or total ratio. We know the actual total is 45 liters. Now we need to know the unknown multiplier. What did 10 get multiplied by to get 45? Well, to do that, we can just say, what's 45 divided by 10? Well, that's equal to 4.5. So the unknown multiplier is 4.5 and then that gets multiplied by everything. So we'll need a calculator for this one and if I punch that into my calculator I get 31.5 and then if I do 3 times 4.5 I get 13.5 and then it's nice to check by just making sure that this plus that equals that. And it does. All right, great technique there for doing ratio problems. See you in the next video.